Okay, the last part of this series was absolutely tragic. So thanks to EA for giving us early access to check out this pack. It's deadly. Also, just a reminder that this is not final software. So um, yeah, I think this is actually the last part of this series. Not, not completely, but before we add all of the other packs to the game, I'm gonna transfer the save to my regular game. So we'll be able to see how seasons work and what it looks like in winter and add all the packs in it. It's gonna be lots of fun. Uh, one thing I have been struggling with that I haven't really figured out if it's a bug or if there's like a particular way to complete it is having the property owner visit your unit is not ticking off for me. So I've decided I will cheat that milestone. So I'm just pasting this cheat from Twisted Mexi's website. It's a great website for cheats if you need help. Um, and that'll just help us complete that milestone of the aspiration. I'm just, yeah, I just don't know why that wasn't working. Cause we had him come over in different ways via the phone on his own term, fixing things. We fixed something, but none of it seemed to complete it. So I'm not sure. Now we need to fix something during an emergency or a maintenance event. Okay. And we want to host a neighborhood potluck or a pool party. Well, seeing as though we don't have a pool, um, we should probably do a potluck. And we also want to use a amenity in a shared space. Let me get rid of this cheat window. Oh, and the other thing was this basket from the night market. It. I just wanted to show you guys that there are different swatches of this, which I thought was really cute. Um, so I think this will be quite a nice decorative object. I think it's 35 simoleons, especially if you put them like next to each other. It's kind of cute. I also updated the outfits of the Sims. Oh, honey, I played for much more than five hours. Trust me. Okay, once you have something to eat, uh, let's repair this because we do want to get up that handiness skill for our job. So I'll let you run in there. Very good. And then if we can beat the neighbors, we can actually do some weeding and whatnot. We can sell all, like are our neighbors selling our harvestables? They might be, who knows? Who's to say? And I also gave um, Opper's top he bought from the night market to Buddy to wear in one of his outfits, which I thought was really beautiful. And Dewey is also wearing her crop top too that she got from the night market for one of her outfits. So I thought today, because Oppa always wanted to go to the tire sink, the tire, the tiger sanctuary, we could go there to honor him. And we're actually making a nice little chunk of change from our gardening. I really wish that there were new garden items, like, I don't know, some new things to plant would be really cool. I still can't believe Oppa died. Like, I'm actually in shock. Okay, how about you get something to eat? Arturo, what's up? Hey, buddy, I've been thinking about getting to know Dina Caliente, but you're... You have a partner. Oh, better as a friend. Do you think the two of us should hang out? Well, hang on, is this as a friend? Yeah, it's as a friend, so it's not romantic. Um, I think you should go for it. I mean, as long as you're not, you know, planning to cheat on your lovely husband, you know? I'm just saying that wouldn't be very nice. Use the toilet. Dewey is having a real big sleep in, which is really nice. They say teenagers do need more sleep. And I believe it, I uh, I slept a lot as a teenager. Like I was sleeping in a lot more, but then I'd also have like infinite energy somehow too. It was so strange. Okay, now where did Oppa pass away? Oh, I thought this was his tombstone. Be careful, be careful, Bua. As an elder, these waters are really dangerous. You don't wanna know what happened to Oppa. You don't wanna know. I do wanna go back to the cave though. We really have to finish Oppa's collection. Where is his tombstone? Did it just disappear? Or did it, was he swimming somewhere really weird? Like really far away from where he was meant to swim. Maybe this wasn't my fault. Cause I can't see it anywhere. It swept away during the night. Oh, she's feeling very sad. Missing Tomorani community. Don't worry, we'll organize a potluck. And we need to clean out some spoiled food here. You know what the saddest thing is? The saddest thing is what is happening right now when the food was made by the deceased Sim. We're too upset to clean up this mold right now because secretly I want to see what happens if it grows even bigger. Okay, so we've done that. Everyone's feeling sad, of course. Why wouldn't you be sad? How about you guys leave some fruit and some incense at the spirit house? But I feel like because Oppa used to go to the spirit house a lot, we're following in his footsteps and keeping his memories alive in that way. So the fruit's out. Dewey, where are you? Like, now don't forget to brush your teeth. Oh, we just became good friends. Well, you know what? Through sadness, we become stronger and we appreciate the people we have around us even more. 
There we go, now we're feeling much better. Because the night market doesn't have toilets, I have a little bit of toilet anxiety for my Sims, so I'm just gonna <laughs> get them to go again. Oh, he's already tired. Oh, should he have a quick nap before we go away? No, no, no. I mean, we're not going away. We're just gonna go to the tiger sanctuary. It's a bit sad. I really wanted to finish that aspiration. We were so close. Um, well, actually, we don't actually have to travel anywhere per se. We don't have to load anything. We've just got to find the sanctuary on our current map. So I think we go across here. Oh, is this it? Yes. Yeah, so we can sneak into it when it's dark. We can visit it today, or we can support by adopting a tiger or donating. Well, how much does it cost to adopt a tiger? Do we just, I mean, it doesn't really say. Well, let's head over and adopt a tiger on behalf of Oppa. It's what he would have wanted us to do. If you guys are enjoying this pack or if you're interested in any other Sims title, you can now support me as a creator by using my creator code Deligracy. You can use it in the EA app when you purchase a Sims title or on thesims.com. All you have to do is enter my code word Deligracy at the checkout in the promo code section. Thank you guys so much for your support and also thank you to EA for sponsoring this part of the video. It's a really cool design, very cool. And this reminds me of Bowser so much. Oh, crossing over that beautiful bridge. That would be a nice spot for a kiss, wouldn't it? And this acts as a rabbit hole. So uh, once they're in, they're in. And we wait for them to come out. Welcome to the Cup Club. Congrats on becoming a Cup Club member and thank you for your generous donation. What? How much did we donate? <laughs> Towards the Adopt a Tiger program, every cub needs a fluffy friend, so be on the lookout for your plush buddy. An exclusive commemorative poster. Oh, and a commemorative poster. This will arrive in mail. Your contribution is helping tigers thrive in and out of the Sulia Tiger Sanctuary, and for that, we think you are great. Oh, be sure to come back and donate again soon. That's nice. Very nice. What do you guys think? Well, don't spy on him right there. And don't do your cringe dance. <laughs> oh dear. Well, let's vi also visit the sanctuary. You know, we've got our buddies. Did we get them in our inventory? No, we have to wait for the mailing. Conservation station, the lobby. In the lobby, a resident conservationist is getting ready to start Q&A. Dewey hurries along, raises her hand to ask a question. Uh, let's ask for fun facts about tigers. Tigers live in... <laughs> Tigers live in tropical rainforests, deciduous, evergreen, subtropical, and tropical dry broadleaf forests, including the areas surrounding Tomering. They are great swimmers. I didn't know that. Tigers are also nocturnal. Well, that makes sense, because usually if you go to a zoo, the tigers seem very sleepy. I want to go again. Also, um, let's support by donating 50 simoleons too, because Booty is a very generous sim, and generous sims love making donations. Spotted, way off in the distant trees, there appears to be something moving in the, the, moving in the brush. Is that a typo? Could it be an elusive tiger? Do we think so? Drop to the ground and pull out a camera. I feel like that's what Dewey would do. Drop down, get the binoculars out. She plopped face first into a pile of mud. Oh dear, dropping the camera. How embarrassing. Oh no, we have a problem back at home. We have a trash overload, everybody. Trash overload. Oh boy. Try to handle the problem or call the property owner to help. Uh, they thanked us for the donation. Cool. Oh, it's literally because we haven't taken our bin out. Is this really like a serious problem? Call trash removal for 200... We can empty the trash ourselves. Oh no, the trash overload. There's five trash cans that are overloaded. Okay, so it, it's not just the one bin. This is actually a serious issue. Oh my Lord, what are all of these trash piles doing here? Okay, you go to sleep because you're so exhausted. Okay, apparently there's more trash to take out. Where is the other trash? Uh, Zafira would like to come over and hang out. Yes, our best friend with the same haircut. We love it. Oh, time remaining 21 hours. Okay, so I guess we just wait for this to refill. Right. Well, what can we do for fun? Maybe we can break into someone's house with our friend. Well, let's appreciate our strong bond. And you gotta remember, Dewey's grandpa just died. So it's a tough time. And often people are more likely to retaliate if they're going through a tough time. So maybe she should be like, upstairs, I have really rich neighbors. And one of them literally murdered people. I'm not even kidding. We should totally bust in and look around. Times like these, I wish my sim was a kleptomaniac. I appreciate you too. We're there for each other through thick and thin. Aww. It's nice that she has Zafira to help her through this tough time. Even if... 
they're naughty together. <laughs> the Fira, where are you? The Fira. Oh wait, they're all home. <laughs> well, that's a little bit awkward when everybody's home. Are they all in bed? What? What are they? Why are they all up? I mean, I kind of want to do a break in, but everyone's home, so it's a bit odd. It takes you to a new load and then you break in. Does this, oh, so everyone's now left. But I guess we just waited a little while. Zephyr, I think, bailed on us. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Dewey! Oh, wow. This is really bad. Yeah, Dewey's not doing so well since Oppa passed away. <laughs> all right, now we can have a proper snoop. We got the house all to ourselves. I wonder if they would come home whilst we're snooping. We have 42 minutes to snoop. Can we steal stuff? Ooh, any marbles in here? No. Could have stolen some marbles for our collection. Ooh, something's been cooking in the rice cooker. Dewey has access to the house and all of its juicy secrets. Hurry and find some dirt before any pesky residents return. We've only got to snoop for secrets a couple of more times. Or one more time. But we're so hungry and tired. How good is this that there's food in here? What is this? Oh, it's just rice. But rice is great. Made by Chan Li. Chan Li, who's wanting to get to know another neighbor. I think that's... Well, he did say as a friend. We have to expect the best in people, you know? <gasps> They're back! Oh my gosh. Quickly, we need the window from uh, uh, high school years. Oh, oh, quickly get out of the house. Someone's coming up. No! <laughs> no, we passed out in the house. <gasps> this guy never sees us. Oh, girl. But this is not a good time to pass out. This has gone so wrong. We were meant to be out before anyone. Oh, no! They're all coming home! They don't even... They don't even care. They they really don't care. How can they not care? So what, they don't even react if you sims in the house? Really? Are there any like interactions? Insult house? Well, that's kind of disappointing. You, they don't even react to you being there. Oh well, well at least we completed the aspiration. I feel a little disappointed though. I wanted them to react to us. Oh, Buddy's busting. Do you really not take care of yourself while we're out? He's been sitting there all night. He's like, how could you do this to me? Well, we should probably lecture about responsibilities. Now would be a good time. Dewey's feeling very happy about herself. Well, apart from falling face flat on the ground again, she is feeling energized from being nosy, from eating their food that was pretty tasty. Oh dear. Well, I guess you won't be lecturing right now. Let's empty the trash again. It also didn't keep our last trash empty because we left the lot. So that might be good to keep in mind as well. I mean, maybe the Sims will call us or something to let us know that they were not impressed by us breaking in. Interestingly, Booty is feeling a little bit flirty from watching a rom-com. I miss the era of rom-coms. They're just not the same these days. And also there's like barely any released that are bigger budget. But I have to say, I love that we can just go back and watch them there. Well, perhaps, oh, I was gonna say, let's go and swim to the cave again, but then we can't leave. Oh, actually, no, we're not leaving the lot technically so we probably can because i'm sure buddy is curious about where his dad was going and as long as we keep an eye on the energy we'll be okay to go to the the cave i just promise to keep an eye on it all right because we're not having two sim deaths in one lp i will not allow it just keep swimming just keep swimming just keep swimming 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 what do you do, do? Okay. okay, now I can see why Oppa died, because this does actually take up a lot of energy. Uh, we can finally explore the caves. We so desperately wanted to see like our dad. Arturo wants to hang out. I mean, yeah, I'm not really there right now, but oh my gosh, our energy dropped quite a chunk. Okay, let's explore this passageway and let's keep going see if we get lucky uh we made the climb last time but let's stay put oh he just left 
Oh, well, that's a shame. Let's go in again. Well, let's make the climb. And he saw a nice view. It doesn't look like we got lucky with anything either this time. Well, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to nap in the in the bush because you're definitely not swimming back with this uh, current energy situation. Yay, we have some more trash to uh, clean up. Oh no, we only have two hours left to empty the trash again. Well, this is gonna take a very long time to get our energy up again. So here's the thing, you guys. You need to really have had a good night's rest before you go to the cave. Don't go with low energy, it's not enough. I tried, I tried to empty this trash. Quickly, quickly, go, 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 go. Get the trash. No, we missed it. Oh, they're under control again. Lack of attention has caused the rating of your unit to fall. And the property owner sent you 24 simoleons to apologize for the inconvenience. I mean, it was us not taking our trash out, so I feel like it's not really their fault. <laughs> but then also like, is the unit rating our problem as a tenant or just their problem? Like, is it really in my best interest to improve the unit rating? I don't know. People talking. Let's confront about their secrets. We know your secrets. I know you are yeah. interested in getting to know a neighbor, even though this is your husband. He's like, hey, I just want to be friends. It's no big deal. He's quite a handsome man, Chan is. Oh my gosh, he's running away from us. He's like, I don't want to talk about my secret. I'm telling you, where there's smoke, there's fire, okay? We could blackmail, which would be oh so fun, but we will keep this secret because it might be worth more later. But also he might be honest about the fact that he just wants to be friends. So we should not get too carried away. Can we confront this kid about secrets? No, I don't think the kids have the same secrets. Okay, I feel like we have enough energy now that we've napped in this bush. Poor guy. We'll just do a cheeky uh, fertilize and then I'm gonna monitor him on the way back. T, um, hey buddy, I think Hara to us and is pretty cute. Should I ask him out? Yeah, go for it. Look, you don't have to ask me for my permission. I mean, I guess we have a lot of influence over Zims. Oh God, please make the swim. Oh gosh, this makes me really nervous because that energy goes down so- <gasps> The energy's going down so quick. Oh my gosh, he made it. He made it, everyone. That cave, very, very, Tricky stuff. Oh, I wonder if tomorrow we'll get our tigers. That would be nice. Oh, check it out. I never noticed this on the side of the house. This is our electricity box. It's already in tip top shape. Oh, we could do an upgrade. Hmm. All right, well, these guys are in bed. We shall resume in the morning. Okay, work from home. Dewey is up and almost ready for school. Do some homework. That's what Oppa would have wanted. We also have a couple of whims over here about confronting the secrets, releasing a sky lantern. Well, we're not gonna finish our homework in time, but we can just come out here and quickly release the sky lantern. Or we go to school. There we go, release sky lantern. Yay! That's nice. Off to Oppa in the sky. Uh, T's calling again. She went on a great day. Good for you, T. Good for you. You have 24 hours to pay your rent before it's officially considered overdue. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that we, we... Oh my gosh. What? How is our rent 34 billion simoleons? Uh Okay, this guy is crazy. We can't pay that. The lease length cycle for our house has reset. We have a grace period until 9 a.m. During this time, tenants are able to move out with any penalties. Well, we might have to move out if, <laughs> if it's gonna cost us 48 billion simoleons to live here. It, I can't afford my rental. Okay, guys, we cannot live here. We cannot live here anymore. What am I meant to do? Okay, I think what I might try and do is save and reboot and hopefully that little rental bug is fixed or else we're gonna have to move. But just so you guys know, this is a known bug by the team and it will be fixed for the launch of the game, they've said. Okay, so what I did was I got the land grabs to buy this place. Um, They are now the owners <laughs> of this rental lot. And I'm hoping that, ah, oh, it didn't actually work. It's still not working. I thought that would have fixed it. We're gonna have to move. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, you guys, let's pack up our belongings. 
we'll get our marbles and we've got to get out. And then I moved my Sims out and moved them in again and it's still glitching out. So I don't know, we're just not gonna pay our bills because it's ridiculous. We'll just not pay and, and see what happens. This can be a good experiment. The rent's gone up too much. I wonder if they're gonna come and steal our furniture. You know, they might do. Well, I say if we're at risk of being kicked out, now's a good time to throw a potluck. I just think that's the right thing to do. Also, we need to complain about our toilet again to Arturo. We just sit at our toilet and complain. Ah, the life of a sim. So strange. Might also upgrade our sink to have sturdy faucets. Get that handiness skill up. And because we moved in again, we get more fruitcake. Thanks, John. Love your fruitcake. It's like the party's starting early. We can definitely complain to our neighbors about rental conditions. Aw, that was sweet. Look at Booty go. Look at those, those muscles. We love to see it. Oh, uh, you might not want to stand in the mold. Also, Nin, it's very great new neighbor. Very confident of you to come over in your bathers. I mean, I would too if I had this six pack probably. Oh, the rental rating just went down. How is the rental rating at this point? I mean, how is it still four out of five stars? <laughs> The land grabs. The land grabs are gonna like earn everything in my game. So what are you gonna do about all this stuff? I don't know. We might have to think about moving out soon. We can't afford this rent. Mm, tell me about it. Ain't like the good old days. Good chat. I, I love the neighborly chat. Just love to have a good neighborly chat, you know? Can we upgrade this? No, we're not. We're not high enough in skill level. Well, we should get our mail. We don't have to pay the bills, but we can get our tiger plushies, hopefully, and posters. Dewey's back from school. Oh, I'm not in the best mood. We might need to have a little nap before we have our little potluck. So what did we get? Ah, yay, we got Tibbet. Oh my gosh, Tibbet. Tibbet the tiger, that's really cute. Oh, the thank you gift. You can rename him. We got a poster here as well. Oh, Oppa would be so proud. That's a cool poster. Wait, where should we put this? Put it in the bedroom here. And I guess Dewey would need to get to collect her own stuff from the mailbox, I think. Oh, this mold is so nasty. We're gonna make all of our neighbors sick as well. Let's have a little, a little nap and then we'll have a party soon. A little bit of a sneaky pot luck. Fine, the neighbors can hang out here. We're refusing to fix our mold problem. The owner should fix that. I'm gonna call the property owner to come and visit and complain about this mold. See if the land grabs do anything about it. Our last property owner was did not do anything really. I think they took out our trash once. Hey, so we got a little bit of a problem. Um, we've got some mold. Jeffrey's like, hmm, well, let me take a look. Oh, rentals, <sighs> rental rating just went up. Let's complain about the conditions. Because, oh, Jeffrey, don't waft it towards us. Um, I just really would like you to fix the mold problem, but it doesn't look like there's even an option here. I also would like to complain about the rent. That's not fair. He, he doesn't accept any responsibility. All we can do is clean it up ourselves. I don't know. Thanks for calling by, I guess. Stop farting! What is with this guy? Well, at least he's taking some notes. Okay, well, I don't think we actually have enough time to have our potluck now. You know what? I think I would like to go to the night market quickly. I just want to see if there's any more tassels. I might get Dewey to go as well, because I'm not sure who's more tired. Okay, Dewey's a little bit more awake, so we'll get Dewey to go to the market and see what other things are here. Okay, it looks like we bought out all the local attire. I was hoping there would be some more clothes. Oh, black and white striped marble. Cool. 200 simoleons? That's got to be a rare one. Ooh, light green tassel? Do we already have that? There's also a pink tassel. Oh, and I forgot to put our lamp up. Oh, we already have the green and we already have the pink. So are they just the exact same ones that were there last time? I think they are. Mama. Oh, well, it was worth looking. <gasps> we should try and break into the tiger sanctuary. Remember they said that we could do that at nighttime? And maybe we can get a tassel that way. Might just quickly use the bathroom whilst we're here. It's all lit up at night still, but we can sneak in. Let's sneak in after we use the bathroom, of course. Because we are the best at sneaking around. That's what we love to do. These poor Sims are constantly dazed. But this is the thing. I want the mold to grow and extend. I want to see how far we can push this. Sneaking through the lobby, we see an employee's only room to the far right. That must be where they keep the good snacks. 
Footsteps approach. Something's coming. Do we want to make a sneaky dash for the employee room? Or hide in a nearby trash can? Let's go sneaky dash. The guard could clearly see her in the doorway. Oh no, we're temporarily banned from the tiger sanctuary. Dang it. We'll have to try and go back another time. Oh, we can't go there. So they said to check around the beaches. Does that just mean the cave or maybe there's more areas around the beaches. The night market check and delve into the tiger sanctuary. And there's rumors of the cave nearby too. Oh, so yes, we need to check out the beaches. And then for marbles, you know how to do that. Hey, it hasn't added our extra marble we got. Wait, what happened to our marble? Oh no. Did I not buy the marble? I didn't buy the marble. Oh, Deli. Look at all this mold growing. Yes. Yes. Love that we still have bills here to pay. The 34 billion simoleons. That is just so beyond outrageous. Well, you guys, I'm gonna leave this part right here. In the next part, we should have the full game available to us, like with seasons and all the other packs and the glitch will be fixed, which will be good. But thank you guys so much for watching. And thanks so much to my members for your incredible support. I appreciate it so much. And I'm glad I could put the correct outfits on the Sims that we had Planned. They're more or less exactly the same, maybe a couple of swatch differences. Yeah, I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to speak to y'all soon. Tag tag!